Monaco and Lyon both started this season fully expecting to build on their top three finishes from last term and maybe to even pressure PSG at the top. But the two teams went into Friday's encounter stuck in mid-table. Hubert Fournier made two changes to the side that beat Rance before the international break, with summer signing Raphael starting the game at the Stade Louis II. The home team started the stronger though, and Thomas Lemar almost caught out Anthony Lopez at his near post, with the ball striking the upright. Teenager Lemar has been a bright spark for Leonardo Jardim over the last few months. And he quickly forced Lopez into the first meaningful save of the evening. And Monaco's pressure was rewarded with the opening goal six minutes before half-time. Lemar's left foot was the catalyst for Leon panic once again. And Croatian midfielder Mario Pasalic nodded in the winger's corner after an ill-advised rush from his line by Lopez. The interval arrived with Monaco a goal to the good and Leon in danger of a third defeat in four matches. Alexandre Lacazette has been a bit out of sorts so far this season and he couldn't quite knee the ball past Daniel Supersic. Another Lemar set piece almost brought a second goal. But after Lucina Traore left the free kick, Lopez produced an excellent stop. But the game turned in the 66th minute as Brazilian Wallace was given his marching orders by referee Freddy Fortrell for a foul on Leon half-time substitute Rakid Gezal. The defender seemed to get a touch on the ball, but Fortrell deemed him to have used excessive force in the tackle. The visitors still didn't create many chances, but they did snatch an 84th minute equaliser. A Matthew Valbuena corner was volleyed back into the mix. And after a touch from Gazal, former Manchester United right back Raphael pounced to score his first ever league up goal. One apiece, the final score in Monaco.